Okay, guys, welcome to part two of Game Talk with Renzo. Yeah, it's the one with the big bag of pickups in it. So, yeah, you <laughs> popped away your cell phone? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay, so we can talk. We can game talk. I, I was looking up the Princess Tomato. Oh, yeah, uh, from earlier? <laughs> not a platformer at all. It's a point and click game. Uh, a really weird one, so is it, maybe I, it's. I, 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 was gonna, I was gonna ask, is it a good point and click game? But. I don't think there are any good point and click games. Ooh, now, now you're making a lot of uh, people angry, I think. Okay, I um, I reviewed one game that was point and click. What did the, the horror game. Uh, Clock Tower. Yeah, I reviewed yeah. that one. That was a point and click. Yeah. And that was, that was actually quite okay. Um, yeah, but anyway, so if you didn't watch the first part of this, uh, we were talking about is retro collecting still fun? I think it is, but... It's not the same as as it was ten years ago. Definitely no, not. No, no, no. But you know, you get you amass a really cool collection, hopefully, and you need to start looking elsewhere and you know making connections with people, with our collectors, which is cool because back in the day when we were starting out, you didn't know about any other collectors, um, but, or maybe you did, but <laughs> I yeah. was like, I think I'm the only guy doing this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that that was what it was like for me. And then, uh, well, but, fast forward to today, you said, hey, I'm going to get rid of a bunch of crap games and I want you to pay for them. And I said, okay, uh, these are the ones I need. They're all in this bag. Yeah, but um, I think that because you bought all this stuff... Um, it's clear that you are still going strong, going hard. But I did go for quality yeah, in but this one. You are quantity. still uh, actively buying a lot of stuff. Yeah. Uh, not slowing down whatsoever uh, with the toys. How do you feel about that when you look at other people who are all selling stuff and quitting? And Everybody's talking about quitting. And yeah, there's a lot more collectors quitting, but... I just look at it as an opportunity to buy stuff. <laughs> buy stuff. I think them. I have a problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but at least I'm not buying Princess Tomato. So <laughs> there's that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You're not um, in that big of a. <laughs> at least I'm not in that big of a problem. Okay. Um, so talking about quality, quality games, games <laughs> I got Super Battleship. For the SNES, uh, I got Super Battleship because I, I like all the Battleship games. Yeah, you got uh, that one for free. <laughs> I got it for free, so because... <laughs> I didn't even have to pay for it. <laughs> because who is going to pay in this day and age for Super Battleship? So it's uh, what type of game is it? Well, it's a Battleship game. So you, you place your ships and then you shoot into the dark where you think the <laughs> other guys... Uh, ships are at so it's a strategy game you play against the computer I have one on the Game Boy which I love it's one of my top 10 Game Boy games so I wanted to get it for every system and it was a MB game yeah it was a Milton Bradley game yeah, yeah. so I mean hey, uh, no no shame over here I love this I'm but probably it, never gonna play this because I how, I how it, is it, if the, it's two player how do you play it Two player. I, I think <laughs> like the guy can't has... see and, and then yeah then then he has to you know you know be cool about it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm probably never gonna play this because I love the Game Boy version uh, I also got Romance of the Tree Kingdoms Wall of Fire so yeah uh, we were over at this big sale that like a retro game freak uh, a web shop from uh, Netherlands was doing and I was going like I like that game I like that game and you had like a list with stuff and you were going like oh this is a good buy this is a good buy mm -hmm. it's on the list and it's below what I mm -hmm. valued it at so I got it and I was like thinking about these games but I, I was like no I, I want like stuff I really want even though they were priced really good uh, and then you said, like, hey, I'm getting rid of these. So I was like, yeah, well, I want them now. 
But uh, that's they're, also they're strategy games, though. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you were like, "I'm gonna get rid of these yeah, because I'm I want to focus more on I'm not really quality stuff you want to play." No. So that was the second SNES. one in there. But that's what you say now is also uh, a, a very big difference in collecting between us. I think you just go to a convention and you look around and whatever catches your eye, um, you buy. Yeah. I have a list <laughs> with yeah. exact prices of what it's worth. I only buy so stuff that I know I'm getting a good deal. Um, and I'm like asking you, yeah, is, is this, this a good, good deal? Constantly, <laughs> 15 times should, in should 15 minutes. This? Should I buy this? And I was like, no, I'll buy it anyway. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Apart from the Boglin. The Boglin, you were like, actually, it's kind of cool. Yeah, that was uh, of all the toy stuff you bought the last year. Yeah, uh, probably my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah. and you were like, mm, I had a, I had one when I was a child, cool. and yeah. it was it's actually very it's a cool toy to play with. Yeah, I have memories. I love about it. like my daughter; she's three years old. She loves it. Yeah, I'm like, it's a monster. If oh, they release cool. it now, it will sell. Yeah, it, it's it, they're they're amazing toys. They're amazing toys. Um. Moving on just a little bit. What else do we have over here? We got Nobunaga's Ambition in our strategy game. I don't remember putting this one on the list, but I probably did. Um, <laughs> it's so closely related to the Romans of the Three Kingdoms. Okay. They're both uh, Koei games. Um, okay. And it's uh, it's uh, almost exactly the same as uh, the okay. Romans of the Three yeah. Kingdoms. Okay. Um, so you like playing strategy games? I, I think they look cool. Do you ever play them? Probably not. <laughs> I probably won't ever play these. Maybe I'll, I'll take him along on tour and, you know, because you're, you're like in a car. Like this week, uh, I'm going to be in a car for 14 hours driving over to Slovenia, mm. the punk rock holiday, and then driving back 14 hours. So it's going to be a lot of game time there. Um, next two games are two PAL exclusive games. Uh, the reason I'm picking these up is I think I don't have this one yet. I do have this one, but I'm going to Retropalooza in October, and I want to bring over some PAL exclusives to trade uh, over on the vendor floor. So that's why I was like, oh, if you're going to get rid of these, give them to me, because then I can, you know, bring them along. Uh, Over Horizon is actually a really good shooter. Shooter, yeah. yeah. Uh, Prince Valiant? Valiant is not that bad either. No. Um, it's like an adventure game. Yeah, so. it's, it's cool. It, it, is this the one that's like top down? Uh, uh, like no, Zelda? Or is it on the Game Boy that it's top down? It's closely related to Willow, I think. Willow, okay. Yeah. So, yeah. Those are a couple games. What do we have over here? Ooh. We got Daikatana. Um, <laughs> are you going to play that one? Probably not, but uh, I'm kind of going for an N64 collection. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, you buy the golf games and yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but there, there's only like, for PAL released, there's only like 240, I yeah. think. So it's 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 doable. So I got Daikatana. And they're not that um, expensive. I think you already have all the expensive Yeah, ones. yeah. Like, this no. is one that I was really after, Mario Party 3, the most expensive of the Mario Parties. It is a Mario Party game, mm -hmm. in case you didn't know that. So the genre is it's Mario, Mario Party. Party. So it's, it's you, an entire genre you, you play in You play with a couple of your friends, and they're all kind of mini games. And I don't know if this one is already you, on a big board game. And you destroy your controllers. That's, that's part of yeah, the game. Yeah, yeah, like the Pokemon Stadium uh, mini games. But yeah, po Pokemon Mario Party tree. Pokemon Mario, Pokemon Mario Party Mon Tree. Poke uh, Party. <laughs> Poke Party. Yeah. So yeah. Poke Party. Poke Party. Uh, yeah, just had to get that one. Uh, what else do we have in here? Um, these are all like from the systems you're getting st stuff rid of, and I yeah. just want like these are really hard to find. I'm getting twenty five or what was it thirty percent off? Anything? Uh, so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna buy everything I want. Um, so yeah, here we come up with one big. That's a really that's, that's not clappers in the is it? Uh, <laughs> this is one of the cojones. Is it? Yeah. Uh, this is Metroid Zero Mission Complete Inbox. 
Mm -hmm. Or did you sell me not the good stuff? Huh? They're all complete. They're all good stuff. Okay. Uh, so Zero Mission, uh, I did already have Metroid Fusion. Um, yeah, pretty cool cover. This pretty on, on cool game. This is a game, game I, I want to play. This is probably the best one. Yeah. Because it's just a remake of the first one, only better um, and highly pl more playable. Geeked okay. and, and stuff. So okay. Yeah, you have to play this one. Oh, I'm gonna play it. I'll bring that one on tour. Yeah. So yeah, uh, I got Mario versus Donkey Kong complete in box. Um, I I just like getting all the Mario titles in box because well I love playing Mario. Uh, they're they're not bad games at all. Not this that is anybody like says fun that. Puzzle game. Yeah, so. yeah. There's there's even a sequel out yeah. on the DS I think. Yeah. Um, then we got Kirby and the Amazing Mirror, one of the games. Um, I was like, hey, you need to get this. Yeah, it remember was a we tilf. were. We, we were over in Charleroi or, or somewhere in, in Liège. Uh, so in the French part of, of, of in Belgium. Tilf. Tilf. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and he was like looking at this game and I already had bought too much stuff. So he was like, yeah, should I get this? And the guy went down even more and now it's in my hands. So yeah, I got Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. Um, haven't played it yet, but I do play all the Kirby games because they're easy. Yeah. And... It makes me feel like I'm a good gamer. <laughs> That's why I got it. <laughs> um, what else do we have in here? We got... What is this? We got Game & Watch Gallery 2. I love Game & Watch. This is a compilation of those games. So Yeah, need with to get uh, Mario characters. So with we... Mario characters instead of, you know, fires you know, yeah, with the yeah. ambulance guys yeah. and stuff like that. Um... Then we got The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, is this one? Uh, I think I played the other one. I, I played Oracle of Seasons, so I still need to play this one, but I wanted to get this one box because, well, I do like Zelda. I'm a Zelda guy. Um, so that's why I also got Zelda The Minish Cap. Great, great game. Yeah. Um, and I got the Game Watch Gallery 3 for the Game Boy Color. Also, again, they changed it up a bit with the Mario characters instead of the regular Game & Watch guys. Yeah. So if you're going for Game & Watch, if you're interested in that, these uh, gallery games are, are probably the way to go. How, how many freaking stuff do I buy? <laughs> yeah. uh, even more uh, Game Boy Color stuff. Okay, so Oracle of Seasons, I didn't have it yet boxed, so this is a box upgrade for me. Yeah. So I'll be selling the loose card soon. Um, ooh, this is a hard one to get. Yeah. Game and Watch Gallery for the Advance. Um, yeah, again, love the Game Boy Gallery. Uh, I, I just love Game and Watch, so this is part of that, and I needed to get it. This one has six games in one. Mm -hmm. How about that? It's great value. Huh? Great value yeah. for your money. And then over here we got the uh, Metroid Fusion game box. So yeah, lovely. Lovely. Got both of the Metroid games on the headphones. How many freaking Game Boy things did I buy? A lot. Too much. Um, Too much. There's still some left. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I remember these. Uh, I love F-Zero, so I have to grab these two in the box again. I already have them loose, but I was like, you know, he's got all this cool stuff in box. I, I can sell off the, the loose games again. Um, but I wanted to get this and add it to the collection. So we got F-Zero Grand Prix Legend and F-Zero Maximum Velocity. Uh, maximum Velocity? I played these, but I played them like after I bought them six or eight years ago. So I don't you remember. Have them loose. Yeah. Yeah, I have them loose. I found them at a flea market once for like two euros each. So F-Zero is always nice. Yeah, I think so too. Ooh, this is cool. Uh, the way you're going for a full set of NES games, I'm going for a full set of Game Boy games, and this is one I needed. It's Sports Illustrated Kids, one that's NTSC exclusive because I never see it out here. I'm hoping to find lots more stuff over at Retro Palooza that's NTSC exclusive how for much, the Game Boy. How, how many do you still need? 24. Okay, so and it's, it's, it's not going down. I, I mean, I'm also buying variants, like name variants and, and just NTSC versus PAL, you know, like Super Pang is Buster, Buster Bros and yeah. stuff like that. Um, but this is one that 
it only came out NTSC, so I had to get that one. So thanks for hooking me up with that. Uh, then some more games. N64 this time. We got Hydro Thunder. Um, I actually, I, I grew up with the N64. It's my system from when I was a kid. Uh, I did play NES. I did play SNES. But the first system that was my home console was the N64. So uh, I kind of have a liking to the way it looks. Even though it might look terrible now. It didn't age well, the graphics. Yeah. Um, but the like sport, is, the sports yeah. games were actually really darn good. This is a good on one. On N64. Yeah, yeah I mean, most of them were good. So I'm pretty psyched for playing this one. Uh, and then, of course, you have tons of platformers. I think this one is also a platformer, Chameleon Twist. It's puzzle, puzzly. Um... Puzzly platforming. But, you know, Banjo and Kazooie is also kind of puzzling. Or is it no, really more, a lot yeah, more puzzling? Yeah. Okay, you have so... to go, he, he uh, wraps his tongue around a pole and then he swings around and you have to... Calculate how yeah. far... Okay, all right. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. I'll have to check it out. So we got that one. Oh, what else is in here? Ooh. Mario Party 2 boxed. Uh, the only Mario Party game I actually have is Mario Party 1, which I picked up at a flea market. Uh, and yeah, he had Mario Party 2 in the box, so I went for that one. Uh, I might want to upgrade to... Uh, the the two other ones also to a box yeah. one just to get you know all the Mario First games one is in pretty box. Cheap, so yeah, doable. it's doable. The other one is gonna be a lot harder. If everybody sells this collection, you're ready to grab the Mario Party. Sub yeah, man. One. Yeah. Oh, I actually just bought this. <laughs> <laughs> I actually just bought this one. Uh, so yeah, this is from like a couple months ago that I just stowed everything away. But this is Star Wars uh, Episode One: Battle of Naboo. Uh, I just bought this one. This is the one from um, Pele Mele, though. Yeah, so yeah. We were both to... looking yeah. at the same thing. And I called it. And you were like... A split second earlier. <laughs> I want the Star Wars Battle of Naboo. And I was like... <laughs> I want the Star Wars one. Uh, and I was pissed all day about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but <laughs> you, you didn't you have it. You didn't have it. Yeah, we're gonna grab all the good games again. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, what else is in here? Um, ooh. Ooh. This is one I've been wanting also for the longest time. Uh, Legacy of Darkness, Castlevania. Um, this is one I never see. No, you see the first one. Yeah, you always see the first one. Uh, they're not very good games, but being an N64 enthusiast, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to try this out. They're better than their reputation. Okay. They're okay. not great, but yeah. they're not terrible. But come on, this looks... Dick's, this Dick's look. <laughs> this looks... This, this looks pretty cool. I mean, the, he's like a wolf, and he's standing on top of skulls with, with you know smoke coming out of it it's like underworld um the lichens from underworld okay uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, I get what you mean yeah so yeah and I, I got it in the box yeah so that's cool that's cool um what else is in here <gasps> one more mario party game this is the only one i was missing for the GameCube actually like I said I don't collect a lot for GameCube but Mario Party is a series uh, I still buy now like if if a new one comes out on switch I'll, I'll get it uh, so I had to grab this one is this the one that comes with a mic um, I don't know I think that's six but I have the mic it's it's, it's fine it's good it's good though I think that's six not this one it's not mentioned so yeah okay all right Oh yeah, cool. And it's got Wario on it. Uh, I like Wario. So. Yeah, you're a big Wario. I'm a big fanatic. Wario guy. Yeah. Um, and then, <laughs> then I just say, like in the last thing, like I won't buy Mega CD or Sega CD or Saturn, Saturn because yeah. I don't have the console yeah. or anything pre-existing yet. And when you yet. have it, you start collecting. I for start it. collecting for yeah. it, but I saw this and I was like. I want to get it. <laughs> so I got X-Men Children of the Atom for the Sega Saturn off you. Because it's if I ever get one, this is one I'm going to want to be playing. Yeah, it's and a good game. It, 
he sold it cheap, though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we were looking at it last summer at a couple stands, and it was like double. 50 euros more than yeah, double yeah. of what, what I got it for now. Um, so this is definitely one, you know, I, I wanted to get. Um, I found this one at the flea market. Yeah? Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Not many Saturn games, but uh, I had some luck. Um, but yeah. why did you buy it if you don't have a Saturn? Because Just to display or are you gonna buy a Saturn? I, I might buy a Saturn if like the time is right or you know the right opportunity is there. Uh, and then I'll get Golden Axe to Jewel. Yeah, yeah. You gotta get Golden Axe to Jewel. You're you're so into Golden Axe. <laughs> I'm so Jewel. into Golden Axe. Every that's time like, you see, I I think like gold, Golden Axe the wrist. Jewel being a game on the Saturn is reason enough to get to a buy Saturn. a Saturn yeah, because yeah. it has a Golden Axe game. Yeah, and it's Golden Axe Jewel. Yeah, it's, it's like a fighter game. Gold, yeah. yeah. Every time we go out to a convention, there's always four Golden Axe the Jewels. No, there's there, not always, yeah. because the times I was and like, I'm always... going to buy it today, <laughs> it's not there. Yeah, but it's always We've like... We've seen it like 50 times already. You know, the, 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 the really weird thing is there was like this, this, this lot online where it was in for like 10 euros together with a Saturn, and I didn't buy that lot. <laughs> I should have gotten that. Because and uh, the last year in Tom Plu, we saw it like three times. Yeah, and I never bought it, but I, I bought too much stuff in Tom Plu. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was like, I could buy this, or the next boot might have a tub of turtle stuff. And the tub of turtle stuff never showed up. No, it never showed up. And but it might this year. Yeah, maybe. It might this year. <laughs> One last thing in here. Uh, we got Sega Mega CD, uh, I guess in America it's called just Sega CD, and this is Night Trap, yeah. uh, a cult the game? The original one. The original cult game? Is yeah. it a cult game? Yeah. Uh, this got kind of like a bat rap, a bat rep, because... Rep? Um, it's not good. Uh, it's not good, I, I, but... I played it once and it was very frustrating. Uh, you have to play it and play it again until you know everything that's gonna play out in advance. Okay. But it's very, extremely repetitive. Okay. But wasn't there like a lot of backlash yeah, on this game coming game out? That uh, is there like a, a lady underneath a shower and, and stuff like? Is that this it's one? It's one of the games that came uh, in the in the. Uh, hearing the congressional oh hearing yeah yeah about, about video games yeah, being yeah, yeah. a bad Where, uh, influence nintendo threw uh, sega under the bus yeah mainly about this game okay yeah it's never gonna come out on a on a nintendo system no. and now on the switch they did the remaster <laughs> yeah okay but yeah it's a cult classic if you like those cult slasher movies of the 80s um, it's really inspired has the same this. quality as most B movies <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> You have like a whole screen and it, it, it closes down to like this tiny part yeah. on the big screen just to become like visible. <laughs> it's still blurry yeah, as yeah. hell. But uh at least at least it's okay. Yeah, I think it was deemed like too violent. So mainly just the same way I bought the uh Hotel Mario. I'm never gonna play that game, but it's part of video game history. C D I Phillips Failure. This one came in the news that's why i wanted to get it because it does hold some value to the history of gaming yeah to me. probably yeah yeah but it's... or is that stupid is that stupid to be one of retro collecting stuff that you know is terrible but it it brought so much commotion about it in the 90s that you know uh, i'm just i'm yeah you're right um and it's it's nice to own um but if i own one mega cd game i want to get more uh, uh, it's uh, I, I go all in or, or i don't do it at all yeah i'm, um, I'm kind of starting to feel it now yeah i kind of want to get more did you have a golden axe game on mega golden axe duel ah <laughs> um i don't know i don't think so I, I don't know which games should i get for mega cd guys leave it down in the comments below Sonic CD. Sonic, isn't that terrible? It has that really cheesy soundtrack. Eh? Okay. 
and you're like called cheesy stuff so yeah that's that's true <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this was it like uh, all good stuff all good stuff from your collection you're, no, do you it's regret not in your collection right? yeah it's it's, it's filling it's it's definitely filling up a lot of gaps yeah uh like the mario parties um getting the metroid stuff the kirby's the zeldas going boxing them up and getting you know all the the game and watch games mm -hmm. uh definitely you know filling lots of gaps i could have been looking for longer and you know spending a lot more money on because you know i bought this as a lot that's I, it became somewhat um, payable, affordable, mm -hmm. uh, at least for me. And, of course, you know, the stuff I upgrade, I'm going to sell off. The loose carts. Um, yeah, so I'm happy. I'm glad. I'm, I'm adding lots of good stuff and lots of cult stuff to the collection with this. And some crap also. Eh? Some crap like also. The Game Boy game. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm, I'm going to be playing this one. It's probably going to be good. I played it. It sucks. <laughs> but it says the ultimate triple dare and there's a girl snowboarding and a guy skateboarding how how much more 90s can you get <laughs> yeah uh night trap maybe night trap is also kind of i don't know that's more like 80s b movie <laughs> so th that one's better yeah it's, yeah. it's better actually <laughs> <laughs> do you, re you regret selling any of this no i'm happy um it's out of my house uh and i'm happy <laughs> it's going to you <laughs> um i know that you are not gonna sell it off for more um or not gonna try turning probably, a profit on it no you know. uh, it's gonna be in your collection for a very long time i think um all the people are around us are quitting yeah. I think you will be the last guy standing, probably. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy that it, it's going to you. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm glad too. Oh man, this has been been an experience. I, I I don't remember getting like putting so much stuff of of Game Boy in, like. But it's definitely all stuff I I want to get. Yeah, it's don't the, get me wrong. The box stuff is all yeah, it's not pretty one, good. But the box done is all quality. Yeah, it's really quality. Yeah. Uh, okay. So any any last words? Anything you wanna you wanna shout out or call out to the viewers? No, not, not really. I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> You're pretty good. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Um, if you if you held out so long, leave down in the comments below. Uh, a Dutch word we will spell out for you and that word is spaghetti label <laughs> spaghetti label all right just just try it phonetically it'll be fine <laughs> thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week see you later guys bye <laughs> spaghetti label ik snap nog altijd niet wat dat de bedoeling is wat moeten ze doen spaghetti label